It's the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey and today we're here for Guild Raid Guide number one. So this is pretty much going to be going over pretty much the LA Guild Raid and pretty much what units we're going to be going up against and pretty much how to beat them in the best, most efficient way. So let's go ahead and check it out here. I'm pretty much using my basic team that I usually use. It is pretty OP guys, but we'll just go ahead and kind of find out what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and start the raid here for the good old wz nation here and normal it only requires 150 team power so it's really not that demanding from a beginner player and you can pretty much go up against with any unit you want now since this is a lower guild raid you're not going to be getting the biggest prizes in the world so as you can see first place is going to be getting an uncommon pack and the rest of the team is pretty much going to be getting some crates so it's pretty good in some places but eh, not as good in other places but if you go up to hard here we'll be able to actually get 450 trophies and pretty much likewise on to expert here i'm gonna be doing my attacks on hard here and it's pretty much vice versa for either kind of version here but i'm just gonna be going through which units are the best to use in which situations so let's go ahead and pull this up and here we go so we're gonna have some spitters brutes and infectors and nothing more than that guys that's pretty much the core units for the zombies now it's not gonna be anything too crazy pretty basic stuff that you're usually gonna see so that's gonna make it a whole lot easier for us because we don't really need that of a diversified team to be successful so what i'm actually going to do is for this specific area i'm actually just going to kind of allow them to funnel into this area here use my machine gunner now this isn't necessarily the best strategy here but i just kind of want to try it out first around here and i'm going to be honest it could go completely the opposite direction and not the way i want but it's going to you know we'll see it's pretty interesting because this is actually what i used to do a lot with my old account here where i just kind of allow a lot of these guys to just funnel in see how it roll and let's just start the ways here and find out we'll definitely fortify other um pads as we go now in the next attack will be much more serious for this one but um i just want to kind of see how we can take on this little area here so i'm going to go ahead and send these guys back again just because i want my machine gun to be more than safe enough now the problem here is definitely going to be those spitters and they're just going to be coming from all different directions here now with the low health units that we're seeing here it's actually allowing for <clears throat> The machine gunner to actually do a whole lot of good work here he's really going to town on these drones they don't have that much health and the most of these mutated zombies as you can see they're going down very quickly so if you have a pretty high leveled um machine gunner say eight like mine you're actually going to be able to pretty much take out all these waves it's pretty much single-handedly with a machine gunner if you have a level eight one and you're battling on the 500 team power one and the Molotov cocktails as well are doing some great stuff here. So as you can see, we completed it all, 528 trophies. That's really good, guys. And honestly, you could seriously just do it with that. That's the simple way to do it. And if you want to do that, go for it. But say you're feeling a little bit more strategic in your ways. You can easily switch over to the multiple pad kind of strategic layout here for LA. And I'm sure when you guys are a little bit lower, beginner players, that's what you're going to be wanting doing. So as you can see here, if we go ahead and fight... Again, I'll kind of show you guys a different take on how you can strategize for this. So really, guys, LA, not a whole lot you can do, but bring it kind of like your core base units. Bring some melee troops. Bring a machine gunner with you. But if you're not there yet, definitely just bring along a couple good gunners and things like that. So let me go ahead and move my guys in. Look, like put a sniper back here. He's going to kind of chill out back there. Put my lumberjacks down here. Put my combat medic, trusty combat medic, and two gunners. Now, Destructor's going to chill over here with my machine gunner. Do I, even have, did I put down my Destructor yet? No. So, Destructor's going to chill over here with my machine gunner while we kind of hold down the fort over there. I'm going to go ahead and send this wave of spitters here. Now, hopefully this won't be too bad, but let's go ahead and take down. First spitter is in sight here, and people are going down left and right. Two spitters down, barely go down there. And next wave over here is actually a little not really where I expected it to go. So I'm actually going to try to move these guys over here, hopefully draw this wave. If not, I'm going to have to do some quick tapping and stuff like that. And hopefully they'll draw them to the right there. Uh, barely turn the corner. Perfect. That's what I needed. Good stuff. And I'm going to definitely start fortifying that area right now. All right. So I'm going to start fortifying this area, stim them up, throw down this combat medic, and I'm going to move these guys back into position where they were before. So machine gunner over there, he's starting to do some work. I'm going to go ahead and flare these guys away, send that next wave going, and just start cruising down on all these waves here. I'm going to go ahead and throw down a lumberjack over here and a sniper over there and move that into better position there. So these lumberjacks are pretty much doing all their stuff alone here. I'm going to go ahead and stim them up because they're going to need a little bit extra juice. And uh-oh, lumberjack, please come and help. Save the day. 
No. All right, well, they did manage to touch the objective. But that was just kind of my lack of paying attention. But, guys, yeah, it's pretty simple, guys. LA is not the craziest guild right here. It's actually really great for beginner players. Just learning how to play the game, learning about guild raids and things like that. Now, it's pretty great, guys. It's a good guild raid to start learning on. And pretty much kind of how rewards work. And that infector is just cruising. I don't know what you're doing. But he's about to go down. Get him. Down he goes. Come on. There we go. But yeah, guys, it's really great for just kind of learning the basics of guild raids. And it's not too simple. It's not too different than a normal city attack either. It's just really repetitive at times. Kind of playing similar maps at different times. Going up in similar, similar zombies kind of layouts and whatnot. But guys, that's going to go ahead and conclude this quick little LA guild raid guide for the survivors faction. So I really do hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.